हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू टेक्नो इलेक्ट्रिकल सो टुडे आई एम स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज ऑल्टरनेटर सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज ऑल्टरनेटर ऑल्टरनेटर इज अ मशीन और जनरेटर विच प्रोड्यूस ए सी सप्लाई इट कन्वर्ट्स मकैनिकल एनर्जी इन टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी सो इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ए सी जनरेटर और सिंक्रोनस जनरेटर सो इट इज एन स्मॉल इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ऑल्टरनेटर सो नाउ टूडेज टॉपिक इज वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एन ऑल्टरनेटर सो ऑल द ऑल्टरनेटर्स आर वर्क ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस लॉ फॉर प्रोड्यूसिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड अ कंडक्टर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड मैकेनिकल एनर्जी सो इन वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप एवरी मशीन दैट रोटेट्स विल प्रोड्यूस ए सी सो टू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एन ऑल्टरनेटर लेट एस कंसिडर टू ऑपोजिट मैग्नेटिक पोल्स लेट एस कंसिडर टू ऑपोजिट मैग्नेटिक पोल्स नॉर्थ एंड साउथ एंड द फ्लक्स इज ट्रेवलिंग बिटवीन दीज टू मैगनेट्स this is the flux which is traveling between these two magnetic poles so now between these two magnetic poles a rectangular coil or a single turn is placed so right now the position of this coil is such that the coil is parallel to the flux so both are in parallel position so no flux is cutting and therefore no current and emf is induced so we can say that the waveform generated in this position is at zero so now if the rectangular coil rotates in clockwise direction against axis axis ab then completing the 90 degree rotation angle of rotation is this then after completing the 90 degree rotation the conductor side ab comes in front of s pole as you can see here and cd comes in front of n pole so now we can say that the conductor tangential motion is perpendicular to magnetic flux lines from north to south pole so the conductor cuts the magnetic flux and at this position the rate of flux cutting by the conductor is maximum why because the conductor and flux are perpendicular to each other so therefore the current is induced in the conductor and this current and this current will be maximum as you see in this waveform this current is in maximum position so now the conductor rotates one more time at 90 degree at clockwise direction then the rectangular coils comes in vertical position now the position of the conductor and the magnetic flux line are parallel to each other and thus no flux is cutting by the conductor and therefore no current is induced so see the wave form here is reduced this wave form is reduced to zero as no flux is cutting here so the wave form is reduced to zero now the first half cycle is 
completed and for the second half cycle the conductor will continues to rotate again in clockwise direction for another 90 degree so then here a rectangular coil comes to horizontal position in such a way that the conductor AB and CD are come in front of N pole and S pole so again the current will flow through the conductor that is current induced in the conductor AB is from point B to A and in conductor CD from point D to C so now the waveform is produced is in opposite direction and reaches to the maximum value so the direction of the current will be indicated as A, A, D, C and B so now when the rectangular coil rotates another 90 degree so that the coil reaches at the same position from where the rotation is started at this position and therefore the current will again drops to zero and the current will again drops to zero position like this so now in this one complete cycle the current the current in the conductor reaches to the maximum and reduce to zero and then in opposite direction reaches to maximum and again reaches to zero so this cycle repeats again and again and due to this repetition of cycle the current will induce in the conductor continuously in one direction in first half cycle and in opposite direction in second half cycle so now this is the process of producing the current and EMF of single phase. So now for producing three phase, the three coils, suppose three coils are placed at the displacement of 120 degree, 120 degree each. So the process of producing the current is same the only difference is that the displacement between these three faces is 120 degree. So this is the working principle of alternator.